Hello everybody, Paul McFarland here and modeling my hoodie from Lionel Thomas who does his fantastic paintings in this of Mr. Cool, Miles Davis, follow him, by his art. What I'm going to talk about is why I'm here and what I'm trying to do. You know, I'm a human being, you're a human being. In the course of history, and you look at points of significance in our life, news stories that shook us, assassinations, tragedies, celebrations, we have been inexorably moving forward towards what, who knows, I suspect, <clears throat> I suspect it's going to be a fully digital conscious experience where our bodies will not matter as much anymore as our consciousness going into virtual experiences in different bodies, being able to zoom across the universe instantly, beaming here and there, and shuffling off this mortal coil. Pure consciousness, maybe digital consciousness, and that sort of evolution that we're all going towards. Right now, we have one foot on the dock, one foot on the boat. We're uneasy about how digital we are and what are we human. So even though I think we're going towards that in some way, shape, or form, right now, Right here, right now, we are human beings. And that's why I'm here, to fully become my humanness while I'm still a human, before I become fully digital and, you know, immortally conscious. <clears throat> so in the space where you see ones and zeros flying through the universe, creating an approximation of my temporary physical form on Earth, speaking to you, I don't exist where I am. I only exist where you are. What I look like is going through your eye into your you know, ocular you know, center, and you are forming an image of what I am in your mind. You're hearing my voice going in your ear, going into your auditory center and forming an auditory image of what I am, forming an opinion, positive or negative, about who I am or what I'm saying. So our humanness is not our senses. It's more our emotions. When we yearn to touch another human being, when we yearn to feel warmth in our body, when we yearn to know that life is good, when we yearn and ache to know that life will be easier to go forward with, that humanness that causes desire to buy things, to give to others, to feel, to travel, to transcend our body into something divine, and what does this have to do with advertising? Well, everything, everything. Advertising, according to Don Draper, creates happiness. Well, true, but happiness with what I already am, happiness with what I remember, happiness with what I want, happiness about something I dream of. Yeah, happiness. Happiness, humanness. Two good H's, right? So I'm here to explore that with you, with you, with my clients, with my vendors, suppliers, friends, lovers, whoever, to explore our humanness, my humanness inside me. And when you express that through marketing and business and whatever, often you look at a very small business and the person who founded it is working out a problem or a wound inside them that they want to heal by bringing something to the world. Now that is something I think is very fascinating to look at because where do those come from? Human stories, accumulated visions from childhood, and then the impact of things that we encounter and the decisions we make in our life that create problems, wounds, or pain. And pain is nothing but a sensation. It's life saying, hello. When we create these sort of experiences that we hold on to, we either like them or we don't. And if we don't, we can think about them and try to fix them. Well, startups and entrepreneurs are working out some issue in their life through the business to try and create a world that will make what they're feeling inside feel better, right? The problem I feel about myself, my place in the universe on this earth and my country, whatever, that I'm trying to make sense out of, I express through my business to try and heal that for myself and others. I espouse this bringing the best of humanity forward. Now, why do I say when I'm bringing the best of humanity forward? I think about what makes life the best. Love, um, 
goodness, you know, goodwill, adventure, you know, all the things that we like to feel as human beings and bring those aspects that are sleeping inside many brands, global Fortune 500 or Fortune 10 brands that I've experienced with, uh, brand new startups that are trying to make a dent in the universe or make a difference in the world, finding something uniquely human about them and bring it forward, bring it forward through their brand, bring it forward to the world to say, look, you're human, so are we, and this is our humanity that we're talking about right now. Do you feel this? Do you resonate with this? Can we have a conversation about it? Do we have something you want to buy? Yes, buy. Currency. And you know, we, we talk about cryptocurrency and alternative currency. Well, you know, we've always had alternative currency. Airline points, coupons, right? The little hearts we put on things is a kind of currency. You meet someone for a beer or over a glass of white wine to talk something over. That is a currency and it's a human aspect. Again, I firmly believe we are moving towards a hyper human experience or an enmeshing of digital and human consciousness. Begin. Who am I? This is my face. This is my hair. This is my hand. This is my body that's wearing this wonderful hoodie. So who am I? Who am I? What I am is invisible. It's not my voice. It's not my expressions. It's what creates all that. It is invisible and is inside me. Who says that can't be in the cloud, a digital cloud? Who says I cannot to Alpha Centauri or to the farthest extents of the universe instantly? Who says I can't? The point is, who am I? Who am I? Well, that of me that is thinking about who I am is my humanness. That of me that is thinking, what does this all mean in this temporary physical form in this thing we call life with birth, life and death? What does that all mean? That's why I'm here. I see so many people who struggle with the physical and never go beyond that. I see people who struggle with the invisible and are not accepting their physical, right? If you struggle with the physical or you struggle with the spiritual or the emotional, the invisible, and you're still trying to deal with your physical presence, that's one kind of problem. If you're completely in your physical and you can't access the invisible, that's a different sort of problem or rather opportunity. Bringing the best of humanity forward, the very best of thoughtfulness, the very best of friendship, of love, of community, of ambition, of sensory wonder, bringing it forward. And why forward? Because what tends to lead really meaningless things? What's happening with P. Diddy in his trials or crime situations? Does it really affect you? Does it affect you physically? Does it affect a ripple effect? Does it get inside your brain? Does it get inside your heart, your cellular memory, your consciousness, your spirit, your soul? Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. But bringing the best of humanity forward is that seeking, is that wonder, is that curiosity. Yes, the curiosity about a brand, about a business, about a person, about the world, about another person, about society. You see, that curiosity, that beautiful curiosity that propels us forward to seek more experiences, to seek the wonder, to seek the adventure of what else can be is why we get up every day, or rather, it's why I get up every day. I look at every day as something that is going to be absolutely wonderful and amazing from something I'm going to learn, a nuance from a conversation with a client, a nuance of a conversation with a lover, a nuance of seeing something in the clouds, in the sky, in the neighborhood, in a stranger, in a cat, in a stone, in water, in a rabbit in art, in music, oh, music and sound, the best of humanity. And what makes us human really never changes. The questions I'm bringing up here and asking have been around since the very first humanoids and will be here probably when we're pure consciousness no longer in our bodies. We just won't have as many questions about our physicality. The tools we use change. I'm not banging rocks together, at least not here, not now. I'm not trying to forge iron. I'm not trying to purify that into steel. I'm not trying to cut down a tree and build a shelter out of it. I'm 
using digital technology, this alien technology and a piece of thin glass that has sensitivity and take haptic gestures. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. I am so curious about the future. I honor the past, but I'm curious about the future. So I'm here in the space to use my accumulated experience. Notice I just had experience, not opinions. My accumulated experience to bring it forth and that ability of creativity to combine things that have never been combined before in words and images to, to dazzle, to wonder, to hook, to pull, to motivate, to inspire, to invoke or provoke, see? Invoke, invocative is a new word I'm playing with from the client. We had a conversation the other day. We were talking about work has to be provocative, but for a lot of people, provocative is too close to violence. But to invoke is something a bit more spiritual or occult. Think of a magician, you know, an incantation, whatever. There's something playful and new. Activate a new word that thinks connects back to, always connects back to, who am I? Why am I here? Where are we going? So while we're here, and I could do any time, I know that, this beautiful gift of life, wow. But while we're here, what do I want? What issues about me am I trying to work out through my work? Well, mine is curiosity, endless obsessive curiosity about the world, about what makes human beings human. I love to study the movement of humans in groups on highways, on bike paths, on city streets. I love to see where people are moving and where the spaces are gonna be. It comes back to playing the beautiful game and even on ice hockey too, where you have to know where the spaces are going to create and you put the puck or you kick the ball into that space. I love to see what is happening and where things are going, but I always do it based on what is making us human. The technology, the AI, the VR, the AI, you know, kind of monsters that we're creating for ourselves all the time are not really the point. They're dazzling, they're interesting, and I'm going to see them. What's this? What's that? You know, wow, that's cool. But what's inside that? We are human beings using tools to sell to other human beings. So when you start to type something or design something or make a video for something or whatever you're doing, if you think about the platform, back up. If you think about what's in fashion, okay, but back up. You're a human being still, selling to other human beings, using tools to do that. My suggestion to you, my invitation to you is to activate your humanness and bring the best of your humanity forward. Bring the best of your humanity forward. Show it in your work. Show it in your brand. Show it in your business. And if you truly love life, if you truly love all existence, if you love other human beings, if you love your customers and prospects, show it. Show it. Become it. Behave that way. One of the two simplest strategies is how do we make this famous, right? And this one, I always like too. What do you believe? What do you really, really believe? And now behave that way in everything you do. I'm bringing the best of humanity forward with all my client work, all the things I do. I'm always thinking about that. But remember, in this grand sweep of time and history, where billions upon billions have come before us and hopefully billions after us, and we're the billions of right now. Remember, we're still human beings, squishy, mysterious human beings. Use the tools, but remain a growing, fascinating, unpredictable, squishy, emotional human being. I'm selling that to you right now because I realize I'm human. And remember, I am not this body. I am what inhabits this body. And whatever inhabits your body, think about this, feel about this, and do your very best to bring your very best as a human, however temporary that status may be, while you're here, 
while you are here. Bring what you love to the world. I would love to hear what you really love and what you want to bring to this moment.